Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Dr. Santosh and today we are going to be talking about vaccines. Vaccines for the COVID-19. There has been news all over about vaccines that how vaccines are already on human trial and that they will be ready in six months or 12 months or 18 months. So today I thought that I will simplify this whole concept for you and empower you to break down the information which you get on the news and figure out what exactly they are trying to say. So that will be the goal of this video. I will be dividing it into three parts so that it doesn't get too long. So please come back and look for part two and three so that you understand this very, very clearly. So here goes. First, what is a vaccine? We've all heard about vaccines. We've all had vaccines. You know that round spots we have here is from a vaccine called BCG, which they say protects against the COVID-19 also, but still research is going on. So let's break it down further. What is there in a vaccine? The vaccine usually has a biological product. So what is there in the biological product? It could be three types of things. One, it could be a live weakened form of the virus or bacteria against which you are going to be vaccinated. So it will be like a very weak cousin who has the same genetics but is not as effective in producing the disease. So what happens is your body knows how to fight it but your body doesn't experience the symptoms. So it is a win-win. So at this point I have to tell you a story about how vaccines came into the picture. So smallpox, let's go back to the end of the 18th century. There was a disease called smallpox, which was very, very devastating. Anybody who got it, depending upon their immunity, 60% of them died and the rest who survived had very bad pock marks on them. So this disease was called smallpox and it was a devastating issue. Then what happened? There was this scientist doctor called Edward Jenner. Yeah. So Edward Jenner, uh, he noticed that the milk women yeah, who were around the cows, who used to milk the cows, they never got this smallpox. So he identified that there was this group of people who didn't get this devastating smallpox. So he thought first that there must be something in their blood which is protecting them. That's what all of us will think, yeah? But then he noticed that they were having a milder form of the disease uh, as they were having just rash, but it was rash and it went off. And after that, they never seemed to get any issue all through their life, even though they were around these smallpox victims. So that led him thinking and he thought that maybe there is something which is infecting them which reminds their body or prepares their body to smallpox, but it doesn't have the same devastating effect of the smallpox virus. And that guy was right. So these milk women, they were being infected by a similar virus, which was there in cows, which is which got to be called cowpox. So this is like a weak cousin of smallpox. So the genetics are the same, but it is not as virulent or it doesn't cause as devastating symptoms as smallpox. So what happened to those milk women was they had their immune system got trained to fight off viruses like smallpox, but they were infected only by a weaker cousin. So they got this resistance without facing the devastation of the actual disease. And this is how vaccines came into the picture. So this is part one. Yeah, I hope you all liked it. Part two will be what are the types of vaccines, traditional vaccines, and what is this new mRNA vaccine all of us are talking about. So if you liked this video, press like, subscribe to my channel and wait for the rest of why we need to understand everything about vaccines so that we can empower ourselves to figure out what the world is telling us. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Hope to see you soon.